The journey from Georgetown in Region 4 to Latham in Region 9 is well over 400 miles. A paved road runs from Georgetown and stops at Linden. But last year, after decades of talking, works finally commenced on continuing the stretch to Latham. The current project is for the construction of the road from Linden to Mabura and stretches for about 75 miles. It will be two lanes with shoulders and drains and caters for sidewalks and road lights where you find residential areas. The construction of this asphalt concrete road from Linden to Mabura is one of the most exciting projects taking place across Guyana. I've certainly heard of it from as long as I can remember. It's currently pegged at 190 million US dollars and it's exciting because of the possibilities it holds for travel and trade, not only between Georgetown and Latham, but between Guyana and Brazil. A Brazilian company was awarded the contract, 190 million US dollars, and it has been supervised by UK based Mott McDonnell and the local firm SRKN. Along the way, we caught up with consulting engineer Leon Edwards, who well knows how badly this road is needed. As, as a civil engineer and, and part of road construction, we are all excited about the project, and it brings a lot of economic activity to Linden. But, you know, because Roads bring development and move goods faster and safer from one destination to the other. The loggers are going to be happy, but I hope they don't you know, use them to speed. They, but they're going to be happy because we, we see they often break down because of the existing road. But this is going to be, bring a lot of relief to them. Those who are traveling to Letem, well, they will get some relief up to Mabura. And we just hope that before the project ends, we move on to Letem. Guyanese businesses are eagerly awaiting the completion of the road with all the potential it holds. When that road for Brazil is completed, it will link northern Brazil to Guyana and it will open up a whole host of opportunity, not just for Guyana, but for Brazil. And along that entire 400 plus mile road stretch will be a whole host of opportunity for development, commercial and industrial. It was at the Private Sector Commission's 31st anniversary event that President Irfan Ali spoke about the progress of the project and what is expected next year. We'll see the completion of the 45 superhighway bridges to Lethem and works commencing on the finalization of a model for the Kurupukari Bridge on the Linden Mabura Hill stretch. This is the ongoing construction of the four to five bridges that need to be built to facilitate a paved road from Linden to Latham. One of the primary advantages of this road is the drastic improvement it will make possible for logistics to and from the hinterland. Transporting goods and resources between Linden and Mabura continues to be a laborious and costly process, the government has acknowledged. With the ongoing construction work, the sections that are the worst during the rainy season have been improved. As mentioned before, the project starts in the town of Linden and it requires a lot of work there. For example, this bridge at Wismer, now a toll bridge with just two lanes, will be expanded to four lanes. The funding is coming from the Islamic Development Bank and the contract is expected to be signed before the end of the year, President Ali has said. Reporting for the newsroom, Neil Marks.